I knew you would not let those bandits overrun the village. I hope I equal your skill someday. I asked you some questions. Please do not. This is the first task I have been given, and I don't want to get distracted. You're guarding this gate. Let's make sure you know how to defend it. What do you mean? Some sort of test? Ask me anything. I am ready to try. What are the main classifications of styles, student? Wait, I know this. Yes, it's weapon, martial, support, transformation, and magic. Weapon and martial styles are pretty self-explanatory. Support styles allow you to paralyze, slow, or otherwise hamper your foes. Magic styles allow you to use your chi to control the elements, while transformation styles allow you to assume the form of creatures or even demons. I'm only repeating what I have learned in my time here, senior student, but that was one of the first things I memorized. How does your chi affect combat? Chi is our internal magical energy. Is that it? Yes. And we can use our chi to hasten the healing process of superficial wounds. Additionally, chi can be used to strengthen our blows, making the most of each strike. I'm sure that's right. I can't channel my chi like you and Dawnstar yet, but one day. What do you know of Master Lee? Of his history? Uh, nothing. He is supposed to be a great master, but I just arrived, so I know very little about him. I wish I knew more, senior student, but that is all I can answer about our master. That'll be all, student Seapath. Oh, good. I mean, yes, thank you, senior student, for the chance to answer your questions. Master Lee was looking to speak with you, wasn't he? After he left me here, he went back to his house in the center of the school, if you're looking for him. Who was that man leading the bandits? He was really scary. I heard how you faced those bandits in the village. Many people are impressed, but I expected no less. Your skill is a match for any rough bandit. Is there anything you need? Perhaps a training session with some of the students. It would do them good. Are there students available to spar with? Yes, and the students are on edge from the bandit attack. It would do them good to work some of that out. It is a shame about Kia Min. She holds the record for the most opponents defeated in my little training challenge. No one can challenge her record while she is injured. I have a little something tucked away for anyone who can best Kiamin's feet. That includes you, of course, but any attempt will have to wait until she is healed. Is there any way to cure Kiamin? Her wound was not mortal, but it was severe enough that I will not let her fight as she is. I suppose you could ask her if there's anything you could do to help. I'll go see if there's any way to cure her wound. Goodbye. I am here if you need anything. To hear Gao tell it, he single-handedly beat back the bandits. But I know you did the lion's share. Too bad I was stuck up here minding the younger students. It would have been great to see Master Lee deal with that sorcerer. We so rarely see our master's true abilities in action. I understand your training is almost complete. I wonder who will replace you as our example. It certainly won't be me. I can't even imagine Master Lee saying, you must strive to be like Lin in all things to the others. Just the opposite, more likely. Don't worry about following others. Walk your own path. That's easy enough for you to say. You're already the best in the school. The rest of us just stare at your back. Of course, there could be worse views. 
Maybe I should spend more time training and less time worrying about where I stand in the school. How else will I be good enough to take you down one of these days? Besides, there might be bigger things to worry about. I find myself intrigued by the ghost tales that everyone's mentioning. You know everyone around here. Is there any news? You think I will talk about them behind their backs? I will, but I don't want people to think of me as the local gossip, even if I am just that. Or the students of note. Of note? There's only one student of note, and that would be you. Everyone else, even Dawnstar, is just a background for you and your supposed destiny. Not that you don't deserve the attention. I'd be flirting with you non-stop if you weren't so focused on whatever it is Master Lee has in store for you. All of us get a little envious of that. Even Gao gets pushed aside, and he doesn't like being anything less than the center of attention. What have you heard about me? You know what is said. Master Lee believes you're special, but won't say why. It makes you... interesting. Some of the others don't find it as intriguing as I do. Some even consider it an attack on their worth. Who should I be concerned about? Gao, obviously. You know he doesn't like you, he never has. And when Master Lee tells him to model himself after you, that just makes it worse. Tell me about Downstar. Why do you need to ask me about Dawnstar? You know her better than anyone as far as I'm concerned. You two practically grew up together. Frankly, I think she might have a little crush on you too. Notice how she's been less willing to train with you recently? Lynn, that's not the reason why at all. I just want to avoid being a distraction. Oh, sorry, Dawnstar. I'm sure you'd know best. Maybe that's why you two get along so well. Maybe her sense for ghosts and the like meshes well with the great destiny Master Lee sees for you. What are you getting at? Yes, what are you trying to say? I have nothing against you, but some of the things you claim to see, it just doesn't seem right. I know there are ghosts and spirits, but why should she be able to sense them when I can't? What makes her special? While Master Lee tries to never let it show, he obviously holds a special place in his heart for you two. I suppose that's hard to deal with, even if I have been here far less time than you two. Tell me about Gao. You know him as well as I do. A rich man's son. He's attractive, I suppose, but arrogance follows him like a cloud of locusts. I hear his father is the same way. Gao the greater and Gao the lesser. Not a family I would want to be a part of. Let's go back to my other questions. If you wish. What do you want to ask about? I don't think we've ever talked about you, Lin. I'm sure you've figured out most of my little quirks by now. I've been here a few years. How did you come here? Why? I wasn't the delicate flower my family had hoped for. They believed school would calm my spirit. But Master Lee has shown me how to focus myself. I have learned many skills while here, and not many of them require that I be delicate. What will you do when you're done training here? When I am done? I haven't really thought about it. I won't go home. There's no place for me there. If I can stomach the books, I could become a scholar. Perhaps I'll go to the Imperial City. I should see it at least once in my life. Let's go back to my other questions. If you wish. What do you want to ask about? Tell me what you've been hearing about ghosts. Other than what Dawnstar senses, all I have is stories, but they're becoming more and more common. 
tales of people being haunted by loved ones and mad ghosts attacking people on the roads or even in their homes. And Master Lee accepts Dawnstar's ability to see and sense things others can't. If he believes her, then how could I believe otherwise? Let's go back to my other questions. If you wish, what do you want to ask about? Would you be interested in sparring? Of course. I have to keep practicing if I'm going to be able to best you one day, aren't I? Let's begin. Excellent. Let's see if we can use Smiling Mountain Sparring Ground. Once we're done, I'll wander back here if you need me again. Those bandits learned a hard lesson. Master Lee is not a man to stand by while the town is attacked. Same with you. When something has to be done, you do it. What can I do to help you? You're fairly new here. Tell me some more about yourself. I'm honored that you should ask. What do you want to know? What will you do when you're done training here? Well, that won't be for a long time, but I'll probably return to the Imperial City. Perhaps I'll join the Imperial Guard. It's hard to think that far ahead. Let's go back to my other questions. I'll answer what I can. What do people from the capital think of the Empire? It's funny, but I still want to look over my shoulder. I have to remember that we are a long way from the ears of the Lotus Assassins. Why would you be worried about the Lotus Assassins? They're the Emperor's personal guardians. In the Imperial City, they watch everyone and everything, looking for those who would question the course of the Empire. Why are people questioning the direction of the Empire is taking? The Lotus Assassins visit people who ask a lot of questions. The Emperor hasn't been seen much recently. His advisors run things. They're not gentle. Do you know anything about rumors of ghosts? There's already enough darkness without making up stories about shadows, in my opinion. And try Lin. She seems very interested in the ghosts. What can you tell me about places other than here? I'm no map maker, but I know the basics of the way the Empire is laid out. What do you want to know? How do you like this area? Two Rivers is quiet, subdued. This province has a lot of rich agricultural land. Actually, fields cover pretty much everything south of the Great Southern Forest. What do people from the city tend to think of this area? They consider farmers uneducated rustics though they'd use less polite terms. They'd change their tune if they could see such a skilled tutor as Master Lee out here. Take care. I'll talk to you later. Goodbye. Take care of yourself. You are the hero of the moment. Gao claims that he dealt with hordes of bandits, but everyone else agrees that you turned aside their main attack. It is good that you were here. My foolish lack of attention forced Master Lee to come to my rescue, and left me with a wound that will take a few weeks to heal. Master Lee assures me I will heal in time. It's a shame, as Smiling Mountain was teasing me just yesterday with some special prize. What sort of prize? Smiling Mountain trains students in group combat. And just yesterday, I managed to break your record for the number of opponents faced at once. He teased me by saying if I could go one higher, he might have a prize for me. I suppose he might make the same offer to you, if you're up to it. 
If I could fight, he could likely round up enough opponents for you to make a run at a new record, but I can't face anyone with this wound. Is there anything I can do to help with your wound? Unless you can speed up time, I'm not sure there's much that can be done. Masterly has already tended to it. Then again, I vaguely recall a grass or herb that hastens the healing process. Someone like Old Ming might know for sure. He's quite interested in herbs. Would this herb heal you quickly enough that you could fight again? I think so, though I can't remember the name. It was some kind of rare grass, I think. Do you remember if the herb grows around here? I don't think it's a common plant, no. The only person I can think of who might know for sure would be Old Ming. I think I know enough about this herb. I know you're very busy, but if you happen to have time and be passing by the beach, I'd appreciate it if you would at least ask Old Ming. If I'm lucky, he might know of an herb, and if heaven smiles upon me, he'll know where to find some. If you have to buy anything, let me know what it costs and I'll pay you back happily. It would be worth it to get back to training. What do you think about Master Lee? Master Lee cares deeply for all of us, despite his stern demeanor. Look how he came to my rescue when the bandit's spell left me wounded. Do you have any idea why someone would be looking for Master Lee? I've heard a rumor that the man leading the bandit seemed to know Master Lee, but I really couldn't say why. It's scary to think they came here with a purpose, though. Why don't you ask Master Lee? Let's go back to my other questions. I'll answer what I can. I want to ask about the others at this school. I haven't talked to many of the newer students. The only one I have strong opinions about is Gao. He and I have sparred many times. He's come dangerously close to injuring me, and I've seen his aggression hurt others. I've expressed my concerns to Smiling Mountain, and he wisely advises me to focus on myself. If I let my anger get the better of me, I'm no better than Gao. Goodbye for now. Take care. Oh, and if you happen to find anything that might help this wound after you talk to Old Ming, let me know. Glad to see you're still well. By most reports, you've faced down many of those bandits yourself. Impressive, senior student. Most reports? Who disagreed? <laughs> Who else? Gao the Lesser won't let a chance to glorify himself slip away. To hear Gao's side, he pushed back the bandits, but I know you dealt with the greater share of them. Of course it was best that our master was there to deal with that sorcerer. The stories about their confrontation spread quicker than a plane's fire. Why are you nervous? Anything I can do to help? Could cause we were ya won't know here if we are oka wiki no. Ika kahia wo no ka kikia ia wo shathia oka uki ia I awut utku wo kokopia kawa ia elbo. That why you nervous. I could lend you some silver. Pier shath uk ni uksa ia sun pun no ka hon wo ushashia uksa ia ka. Noko wo ifa we are ok, kun one we pifia. I could talk to his son about this for you. Ika kahia wo no ka kikia ia, wo shathia oka uki ia aya yuya, kud kosi viva ia, wo no hia ifa wiga oka wiki no. Price of a small pig, you said. Let me give you the twenty silver. Wasafno sositu no ko ota napia ifa ia ok. Awurth utkua wo kokopia kawa ia elbo.
I'm sure you find some way to repay me eventually. Kone uk noe a kup sa ia sisi ia su ukot awot ut kua wo kokopia kawa ia ewo. That will make his life a lot easier. Gao's father is not a good man to have angry at you from what I hear. Ia ia, wo wo ia kukwa nia sinia ia ia. Niato wo no napadi irovia kone uk nawa te ir. One of the students was wounded during the bandit attack. Tawe ia kawana ia suni ir ipoki. Wuno ir na no ba ir su isana yuyo kone fuk no song kud na no wana napi niato no napadi irovir kone uk nawa te ir. What's the difference between the two grasses? Ir kana wuni kasuri ir kawana no kasa ir iroro tasi ir si ir tintu. Fonye wo 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 si ye wo ta hufu I panar nuko iwa ir ni kasanarir Iroro ni nuwa sa ir kana Thank you for the help O sa ir koganato Tanat niya katana no shafato yo Ni ato wo no napadi iro vir Koni o gnawa te ir O sa ir koganato Tanat niya katana no shafato yo Koganato si ir i panar niniko Goodbye for now. To go to Otuaso. A potential customer is a welcome customer. What can I do for you? I'm looking for ingredients for a medical poultice. Oh yes, I had heard that someone was injured and immediately saw the opportunity to make vast sums of... No, to make a difference, that's it. Anyway, I've checked my stocks, and I only have enough ingredients to make one dose of the salve for a poultice. I'm not sure how much good it will do by itself. Might take a bit of the sting away. Old Ming suggested red silk grass to cure her wound. Oh, now that's thinking, isn't it? Yes, I suppose red silk grass might be just the thing for a wound. I could add it to the poultice. Expensive stuff, that. Very pricey. Hard to acquire, too. Would certainly help her wound, but I know something just as good. Get her some bearded tongue grass and she'll feel better. It won't hasten the healing any, so she'll have to take it easy, but it will deaden the pain. I'll take the red silk grass. I want her to be able to fight safely. If you think you can justify such opulence to heal something that time would take care of, who am I to argue? I'll just need your payment to prepare the poultice. Here's the 50 silver for red silk grass. An excellent choice. I'll mix the salve for you and prepare the poultice. It won't take a moment. There you go. Her pain will fade quickly, and the binding effects of red silk grass will make sure she can fight again, if she wants to. Your generosity is extreme, but who am I to complain? Enjoy, and I hope it makes your friend better quickly. Goodbye for now. Do come back when the weight of your silver is slowing you down. Always happy to help. This has been a busy day for us all. Is there something you need? I have a poultice that should help you wound. The sun breaks through the clouds when I hear news like this. Heavens, I can already feel it working. That's amazing. Yes, yes, this should be perfect. The poultice must have cost you some silver. Let me repay you. What did it cost? There's no need to repay me. I couldn't just leave you wounded. That's very kind of you. I can't thank you enough. If you're interested in trying to set a new record for Smiling Mountain's special prize, whatever it is, then I'll be ready. What can I do for you? I am here to serve and train. Can we talk about Kia Min? What is there to say? She tells me that she is feeling much better. If you wish to face her, I will allow it. 
I would like to challenge Kia Min's record. Kia Min says that she is feeling well and her wound seems to be already healing. I believe she will provide a fine challenge for you. If you win this match, then I will have a special reward for you. Good fortunes. Well done. As promised, here is a reward for setting a new standard. Kia Min is eager to try again, but I asked her to rest for now. She seems well despite her earlier injury. Now, is there anything else you wish at the moment? I should go for now. Goodbye. I am here if you need anything. You fought well, and the record is yours. I'm happy for you and couldn't care less about the record. It was just good to fight again and feel no pain. I'm a bit tender right now, but that's to be expected. I should be in much better shape before long. What can I do for you? Goodbye for now. Goodbye. Anything on your mind? Leaving so soon? Oh well, back to my training. Well, it seems you have everyone on your side again. Hero of the village as well as the school. It is a well-earned accolade. We should all be proud. I'm not sure why. Such vermin are barely a threat. I beat a couple of those fools as well, just not the swarm on the beach. Why don't you have your men help? I found them drunk after the attack. They deserved a chance to celebrate, in my opinion, so I left them with a few silvers with which to enjoy themselves. They took down a bandit who dared try to circle around me. That's the kind of support I need. Men who watch my back, but don't get in my way. Besides, what's a few bandits to one of my skill? Hardly worth the time. They were a threat to the villagers. I was happy to help. So you are at their beck and call? A service animal for those too weak to protect themselves. That's <laughs> an endless foolish road to go down. There are always victims. Always weaklings. You could live a thousand lives and still someone would be begging for your help. This from someone nobody wants help from. You're barely welcome here at all. Why should I care? I have little interest in the other students here, and even less for the mud farmers outside. I am here to train, nothing more. You'll soon see what I am capable of. I will make sure of it. I'm done with you. Go talk to your precious master. Training will not resume until he has met with you. Ah, you are back. I hope this unfortunate matter with the bandits has not caused undue stress. Some good people were lost, but many were saved. It means, however, that I must accelerate your training. These invaders discovered us by accident, but as you likely suspect, they are related to your destiny. You have trained hard and are ready. You will have a pivotal role in some great events, my student, after you return from the Spirit Cave. I object! Gao, what is the meaning of this intrusion? Your pet student is not the only one who fought those outlaws. Perhaps I did not stand in their midst on the beach like a fool, but I did my part. If you spent less time coddling him, you would have many promising students instead of one. No one is denying your skill, Gao. This is not a matter that can be decided by effort, Gao. There are things at play that you do not understand. 
I understand that this student has received preferential treatment, and I have suffered for it. Whatever is in this spirit cave, I am worthy of facing it too. If he is truly better than me, let him prove it. I challenge him. If that is what you wish, I will accept. I will not have you brawling in the street. If this must happen, it will happen in the ring, as a proper test of your abilities. Gao, you are restricted to styles that I have taught. I know the dark tutoring your father, Gao the Greater, has imparted, but I won't have any such sorcery here. Hobble before I begin. Of course. How else would your precious protege win? My student, I do not trust Gao to fight honorably. Consider your attacks carefully. Prepare yourself and return when you are ready. I'm ready now. Let's begin. Then let the fighters meet in the arena. Fighters, are you ready? This challenge will continue until one of you is incapacitated. This is not a practice bout. Injury is a possibility. A possibility? I think it is more than likely. Master, are you certain this is appropriate? They have a dispute, and this is the only way to settle it with certainty. It will be an honorable contest. I have restricted Gao from using his father's sorcery. I said you would regret getting in my way. Fighters, begin! Legendary strike! <laughs> <laughs> Legendary strike. Focus. Challenge has concluded and the winner is clear. No! I'm not finished! Come, I have made enough concessions to you today. I thought I could guide you away from your corrupted path, but you are too much the son of Gao the Greater. You are no longer welcome among my students, and your father's house shall have no more business here, despite his influence. I was not beaten! Not by this peasant! You were defeated by your own foolish ambition and predictable temper. I will speak with you in my chambers about your expulsion. Go now. Everyone, this challenge is concluded. I'm sure the victor would appreciate your congratulations. They are well earned. Enjoy the words of your fellows. I will wait in the main hall, where we will discuss the spirit cave. Be certain you are ready when you come to me. Your life is about to change. 
That was exciting. I'm glad you are safe. I knew you would be. Your skill is unmatched. Even Gao had to see that. I suppose that's what set him off. I hope he isn't allowed to stay. Punishment just makes him worse. Master Li has bent like a willow to accommodate him and his sorcerer's father. Master Li does a lot of confusing things. Yes, yes, he does. I didn't want to say, but, well, I guess that's why we aren't the master and he is. He must be thinking of bigger things. It scares me sometimes, all this talk of troubled spirits. I didn't ask to be a part of it. As much as you want to know more, I doubt you had a say in your fate either. I'm... I'm sorry. This is supposed to be a happy time. You've proven your ability and... Master Li is waiting for you. You should go to him. Gao was a fool to challenge you. You have always been better than him. Gao should be ashamed at such childish displays. Gao was a fool to cheat. Our teacher is a kind man, but he is not soft and doesn't tolerate that kind of thing. You'll face worse things than Gao in the cavern if what I've heard is right. I hope you're ready. What do you need from me? Do you know anything about the cavern beneath the school? No one really knows anything about that cavern, except that Master Li has strictly forbidden us to go in there. He has always said that it is a place of final testing. I hear whispered rumors that there's something horrible down there. I even asked around town, and there's old, old stories of masters before ours sending students into that cavern, and the students never finding their way out. Do you know what this horrible thing is supposed to be? I don't have a clue, but I don't envy you having to go down there. Then again, you are the strongest of us, as we're so often reminded, so you'll be fine. What did you learn about the cavern? This is all rumor, mostly gossip from the people in Two Rivers. As I said, no one really knows what's down there. Well, no one but you, once you tell Master Lee you're ready. Goodbye for now. Leaving so soon? Oh well, back to my training. This day has been full for you, and you still have the cavern to face. If you listen to Lin parroting the villagers' stories, that place has a dark past, but I'm sure Master Li wouldn't send you into unreasonable danger. What can I do for you? Bye for now. Goodbye. Master Li once asked me not to use the style I learned in the Imperial City. It was a fair request, so I agreed. Gao should have known better than to use a forbidden style. What can I do to help you? Do you know anything about the cavern beneath the school? I haven't been here long enough to hear anything but rumors. Everyone prefers not to think about that place. I certainly don't envy you for having to go down there. Take care. I'll talk to you later. Goodbye. Take care of yourself. Gao was a fool for challenging you. Oh, he's good. But you've always been stronger. He just wouldn't admit it to himself. Thing is, your prize is going into the cavern beneath the school. To hear Lin tell it, that place is going to challenge even you. What do you know about the cavern? Next to nothing. I know Master Li forbids us to go in there until our final test. But that's about the only fact I have. I hate repeating stories that aren't my own. Lin has no such qualms, so go ask her about the cavern. Gao's actions were foolish. He knew he could not beat you fairly, and so he chose to catch you by surprise. Is there anything you need? Perhaps a training session with some of the students. It would do them good. I should go. Goodbye. I am here if you need anything. Ah, there you are. Have you finished all your business with your fellow students? I expect our next conversation to change a great many things. You should be ready. Yes, Master. I'm ready. Wait outside, Gao. 
I will finish with you later. Now, my student, there are many things ahead that you must discover about yourself. I trust you know the importance of your destiny. Does it have something to do with the bandit assassin? You are an orphan, but you were not abandoned. You were rescued from the Temple of Dirge in the land of howling spirits. You were orphaned by violent action. I take responsibility for it. You see, I used to be more than a humble teacher. To learn of yourself, you must learn more of me. I was once leader of the Imperial Army. I was known as Sun Li, the glorious strategist. I am the brother of Emperor Sun Hai. Master, you never said anything about this. I will tell you more, but first, we have an uninvited visitor. Gao never could keep his ears to himself, especially when angry. So predictable. He's heard as much as I wanted him to. Perhaps it will give him a little perspective. He should respect even the most humble person, because who knows what lies within. That includes you and me both. Why hide that you're the Emperor's brother? I was ashamed. He seized your homeland during the long drought. It was an aggressive change in the Empire that would soon bring Death's hand to power. I withdrew my support and tried to rally your people against the siege I had helped plan. A doomed effort. Many died on both sides. Sun Kin, another brother, also fell. Listen, I will tell you how you came into my care. Your people were killed. I am haunted by it, and now the world may join me. The assassin on the beach was a lotus assassin, a minion of death's hand. More will come. Can you tell me anything about my people? Most in the Empire know nothing of the land of howling spirits. I found its people to be honorable, but I can't tell you more than that. There was no time to learn more. Who is this Death's Hand? He is the right hand of the Emperor, and rules the Lotus Assassins in place of Prince Sun Kin, who was killed at Dirge, a death he may have orchestrated. 
He shows no hesitation and gave no thought to the lives of those we faced. His influence poisons the Emperor. I have no doubt he is utterly evil. I have never faced him, but I know of no one living who has. A dark energy sustains him. That is the armor of a man who has no remorse, no pity. How many brothers are in the Emperor's family? There were three. Emperor Sun Hai, Prince Sun Kin, the Hand of Heaven, and myself, Sun Li, the Glorious Strategist. Age decided our place in the order of things. Sun Hai was the eldest and therefore Emperor. I was next and was head of the army. Sun Kin was the youngest and leader of the monastic order. When you say the world may join you in being haunted, what do you mean? Your people were guardians, but we did not have a clear idea of what. It is tied to your destiny. I will explain if you want me to move on. Let's move on. Tell me what this has to do with my destiny. You were meant for something important, but because of my actions it was denied you. Stories about ghosts, the assassin on the beach, you are tied to this. Our dead no longer drift to the underworld. They wander, lost, going mad. In time they may overwhelm the living. It began when your people were destroyed. Why haven't I witnessed this? We are on the edge of the Empire, and not all spirits make their presence known. We are not immune, but I kept you isolated. This information could endanger you. The first assassin found us by accident. The next attack may not be so... unfocused. To fix the world, you may threaten the power of some dangerous people. The Spirit Cave will make things as clear as they can be. Only you are meant to understand what is within. You will see the corruption of the spirit realm for yourself. Does this tunnel lead to the cave somehow? The entrance couldn't be here, could it? It is here, in my home. I kept it hidden by never acknowledging its importance. It is not hard to hide something. You need only master keeping the secret. Why is it part of the school? It was partly the strange skills of Dawnstar that showed me to the corruption, and partly something that belongs to you. You'll understand when you enter. But how did it get here? How do you know what's inside? Uh, well, it is thought that spirits naturally try to find their way to the underworld, but if their lives or deaths were painful, they return to what was familiar. The school has seen its share of tragedy in the past. Something of yours has allowed me to keep the students protected, but the dead will be everywhere soon enough. You must enter and see for yourself. Still seems odd to me. Good. Focus on that. It will keep your head clear. I know you are up to this task. There are instructions inside, and something that belongs to you, an amulet. When you emerge, you will know more about yourself and your destiny than I can explain, and you will better know your enemy.